we had huge demographic change, so a lot of uh, outflow of mostly younger people and also a decline in, in population of Leipzig. But with a positive narrative, so being the, the core of a reunification movement also in Eastern Germany uh, in the um, beginning of this century, um, it, it came better and also positive narrative meaning innovation and we had some, some larger companies coming in as well and now we have a growing, growing population again and also a very good link between the rural areas around the city linked more to the city center. So we now, like last month, an announced that we're now back to 600,000 inhabitants again. A good infrastructural um, connection by train, by airplane, even by car. And you have like also this like spreading with the rural area around with a lot of like recultivation around the city. So you have also um, recreation areas now which are like highly attra attractive also to, to people incoming to the city. For example, for studies and then having also the infrastructure to stay and to found your own company. So just to like from the state perspective to form the basis where small companies and startups can grow on. It's not the government like bringing jobs or uh, like founding companies, it's the people. So the only thing you can do is like like securing those open spaces and make like for example public spaces also open to public and bringing in uh, more like parks and community centers and uh, technology centers former industry areas that could be used by by artists or by smaller companies uh, just to try with like low cost but also with an with an uh, inspiring um, um, surrounding area and also the feeling that by your own you can like change something and this is linked to the narrative of Leipzig being like the city of heroes or the revolution city so this positive narrative and also like citizens can do change by their own that is probably one one of the the most important things in that discussion.